Magic Man, Tennis Preacher, Prophet, Psychic, coming back to you with another video. Okay, people, this is part two to the video I just uploaded that uh, that was on the thing that Nadal's greatness highlights the Djokovic greatness, meaning like um, Nadal's achievements that he will make that he's made, like for example, the the uh, ending the year uh, number one for four, uh, ending the year number one four times, it ties the Djokovic record. It shows how great the Djokovic is. That the Djokovic was even there before the Dow got there. And uh, I also said if the Dow uh, breaks the tie, he's tied with the Djokovic with the uh, with thirty Master Series tournaments. If he gets thirty one, it just shows how great the Djokovic was. But people, I just want for those of you who doubt, and and listen, people, I'm telling y'all the biggest threat. Listen. The Djokovic may be a bigger threat to Nadal than Nadal is to a Federer. Now, I know, because, I mean, this is what I think is funny. I think it's, uh, I think Federer, if he heard this, he would laugh and he probably will subscribe to my channel. Because, see, Federer knows what I know. Listen, people, the Djokovic did Federer a big favor. Did Djokovic pretty well stop Nadal from surpassing Federer? Can you imagine if the if the if Nadal would have been able to dominate the Djokovic during the Djokovic era? If Nadal could have made that his era, I know he won a couple majors, and uh, then he had one good year where he won three majors in one year. But pretty well, the Djokovic had an era where he was number one for almost five consecutive years, and not just year in number one. See, the Djokovic got the Dow beat there. It's a difference between being number one for the whole year. Like Pete Sampras. Pete Sampras. I know people don't understand something about Sampras. Sampras was pretty well number one for almost the entirety of all those years. Go check on it. Uh, not just in the year at number one. Because see, you could get the number one spot in November at the end of the year. And then and you could do that five times. And people say, oh, he ended the year at number one for five times. But that's totally different than being number one in January and staying number one for almost the whole year to December and doing that like five years in a row. But let me get back to the point. Federer will be laughing at this because Federer knows what the tennis prophet knows. The Djokovic pretty well stopped Nadal from becoming greater and surpassing Federer. I'm telling you. So, and also, for those of you who doubt that the Djokovic is almost as great as Nadal, and y'all, check this out. Imagine if the Djokovic wouldn't have got hurt the last year or so. Nadal wouldn't be breaking his record. Now, Djokovic would probably have 35, 36 Master Series tournaments and probably would have been, it probably would have had uh, five, six years at number one or ending number one, at uh, ending the year at number one. So, man, and here's another thing right here, people, I was thinking about. This is why I made the video. Check this out. Just a year and a half ago, y'all can go back. Now, listen here. Nadal just won his 15th major. So before the French Open, Nadal only had 14 majors. So Nadal got 15 this year. Then he won the U.S. Open. Now he got 16 just in this year. So if we go back before May, before the French Open, Nadal only had 14 majors, people. So this is my point right here. Just a year ago, a year and a half ago, People, if you read the news stories and go to YouTube, just a year, not even a year and a half ago, people were saying that Djokovic only has one thing to do is surpass Federer. Can he surpass Federer? At that time, Federer has 17 majors. They totally skipped Nadal, people, to let y'all know how great the Djokovic was. Then, they already assumed he's past Nadal. They didn't say, will he pass Nadal? They already put him past Nadal. And guess what? 
I didn't hear even the Dow fans arguing back. I got the Dow fans right now arguing that the that the Dow is greater. Some of them are arguing, arguing that the Dow is greater than Federer. But yet, just a year and a half ago, when the Djokovic only had twelve majors, and the media was saying. They didn't, even, they didn't even mention the Dow. They said, can the Djokovic catch Federer? They didn't say, can he catch the Dow? I didn't hear the Dow fans saying a word. They should have said, wait a minute. He needs to catch the Dow first. They didn't, the Dow fans didn't say a word. That tell y'all how great the Djokovic was and still is. I'm telling y'all, the Djokovic is the biggest threat to Nadal's greatness. And like I told the Dow fans, man, and y'all better hope the Djokovic don't come back half as good as he was. Y'all better stop worrying about Federer. Who you better worry about is the Djokovic. People, this is the magic man, tennis prophet.